Nanis. Nanis. Asa. Coba. Sim. I think I find myself in the morning thinking about the night yesterday and trying to see if I can re re remember that. And then what lies ahead for, for me to today. Well, nearly, nearly 60 years I've, I've I've been able to do these things without even thinking of them. And now I have to work hard to... to restore the picture of yesterday and to create a picture of... of... of today. I... I woke up feeling a mental and physical, emotional, total lack of energy. I suppose it, it, it feels like an electrical appliance which has had the plug taken out. No matter what you want to do, but the energy isn't there. It's as simple as simple as that. I think I'm well on the path to acceptance with these experiences. They may they may decline in strength over time, but I'm not sure they will. But I'm not sure they won't. It is what it is. I think these particular experiences they are part of the of the new me. I think in the morning I'm I'm more accepting of the whole thing, the whole brain injury thing. The mental thought process involved in uh, weeding rather than gardening is much simpler. I might occasionally dig up a small flower that has found its way into the pathway, but on, on the whole, I can be fairly certain that what I'm pull, pulling out are things that, that, I, that I can pull out. I'm far more anxious and lacking in confidence when when it comes to to gardening later in the day it's such an enormous effort to secure that what i'm doing i'm actually confident about it's something i'm not so used to I'm confronted so often by the the life I had, uh, the, the skills I had, the strengths I had. In this new world, having to create an, an, a new identity and, and, and having to discover what, what my signature strengths could be.
I don't think that I would list necessarily uh, painting offences as one of my strengths. Um, well, I certainly wouldn't have, wouldn't have done before, but today I would. It's a part of who I am. It's something I enjoy, it's something I'm capable of doing. It's one part of the me, the new me, that I am slowly discovering. I don't see the kitchen as I did or as, 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 as I think others do. And that's very hard to deal with. I've experienced something what I call fragmentation. It's where time is no longer as smooth or continuous. It becomes broken up. The parts make a complete picture, but they're moving in time at a different pace. It's an unbearable experience, and it's painful as, as, as long as I s stay with it. It goes when I, when, I, when I go away. Isolation is, I don't think it's anything that I have felt before the brain hemorrhages. Isolation is really defined as the condition of being, being alone especially when that is coupled with unhappiness. Isolation of, after brain injuries is not un uncommon. The, f the feeling I've had is, is really not being connected. If there's a group, if there's a table full of people, if, if there's a, a bus or, or a train carriage, 
it will be very difficult to to feel a part of those res respective groups. Uh, because the way of taking part through conversation is restricted. But I don't think that isolation conveys the pain that comes with it. Wanting so much to be with others, to be together with others, to converse with others and not not being able to to do that in the way I did and in the way I would like to what I what I can say is that the activities that I'm engaged in they're helping me to move along the road towards a new life. I still don't know how long the road is and I don't know how many of the things that, that I'm that I'm doing will will stay with me but they are what I'm confident about and, and that is that they are a part of the journey. I don't know who the new me is. I'm still not altogether clear on exactly what I've lost. What I retain. And what my new life looks like. Thank you.